Welcome to the training video on the basics of proper sample preparation for the BDMAX multi-drug resistant tuberculosis MDR-TB assay processed on the BDMAX system. The BDMAX system offers you a simplified and automated workflow, allowing you to run up to 24 samples at a time with less than one and a half minutes hands-on time per sample. The BDMAX MDR-TB assay performed on the BDMAX system can provide results for 24 specimens in less than four hours, as compared to traditional culture methods and drug resistance tests, which can take weeks. The assay detects Mycobacterium tuberculosis complex, MTBC DNA, and in specimens where MTBC DNA is detected, it also detects mutations of the RPOB gene associated with rifampin resistance, as well as mutations in the CAT-G gene and INHA promoter region, both of which are associated with isoniazid resistance. For additional instructions and information, always refer to the BDMAX system user's manual and the assay-specific instructions for use. Let's get started. The BDMAX MDR-TB assay requires induced or expectorated sputa to be collected from subjects and transported to the laboratory in a leak-proof collection container. The raw sputum or prepared concentrated sputum sediment is treated with BDMAX STR. The BDMAX STR treated sample is then transferred to a labeled BDMAX MDR TB sample tube. BDMAX system is loaded with the BDMAX racks containing the prepared sample tubes and assembled unitized reagent strips and the PCR cartridge. The BDMAX system automates sample extraction, nucleic acid amplification, and detection of the target nucleic acid using real-time polymerase chain reaction, PCR. For a full list of equipment and materials required but not provided, please refer to the instructions for use. The performance and accuracy of BDMAX assays require that specimens and components are stored in a safe and stable environment. In order to obtain an adequate specimen, the procedures for specimen collection must be followed closely. Samples with obvious food particles or other solid particulates must be rejected. All specimens should be collected and transported as recommended by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the Clinical Microbiology Procedures Handbook, or your institution's procedures manual. Patients should be seated or standing for collection of raw sputum. Patients should rinse their mouth of any potential food particles or debris prior to collection of sputum. Use a leak-proof sputum collection container and collect at least one milliliter of sputum. Label the container and transport it to the laboratory. To prepare a sputum sediment, decontaminate the sputum specimen with NALC NaOH according to the method of Kent and Cubica. Resuspend the sediment in up to 2 milliliters of 67 millimolar phosphate water buffer. A minimum of 1 milliliter is required for testing with BDMAX MDR-TB. The BDMAX MDR-TB assay is for testing raw sputum or concentrated sputum sediments prepared from induced or expectorated sputa and can only be used with the BDMAX STR kit. To prepare the STR-treated sample, follow these steps. First, label a barcoded BDMAX MDR-TB sample tube with the appropriate specimen identification. Be careful not to obscure, write, or label over the 2D barcode. Second, 
allow the sample to reach room temperature. Then, carefully open the lid of the container, being careful not to spill. Carefully open the BDMAX STR tube and add the required volume so that the final ratio of STR to sample is 2 to 1. Cap the sputum container and shake the solution vigorously 10 times. Up and down equals one time. Do not vortex the container. Incubate the solution at room temperature for five minutes and then shake vigorously again 10 times. Incubate the BDMAX STR treated sample at room temperature for 25 minutes. Remove the cap from the BDMAX MDR TB sample tube. Using the pipette supplied, transfer 2.5 milliliters of the STR treated sputum sample to a labeled BDMAX MDR TB sample tube. Double check that the sample ID on the BDMAX MDR TB sample tube matches the label on the collection container. Close the BDMAX MDR TB sample tube with the septum cap. Prepare any additional specimens for testing. Now proceed to the BDMAX system operation section in the assay specific instructions for use to perform testing on the BDMAX system. We hope this program has helped familiarize you with proper specimen preparation of the BDMAX MDR TB assay on the BDMAX system. If you have any additional questions, please consult the instructions for use user's manuals, or your BD representative.